Hello everyone, welcome to my latest episode of the Final Fantasy Tactics The Lion War series playthrough. We're going to start this episode a little bit slower than most of the other episodes we have been through, because we are playing through the final novel this time. The Diary of Nanai, I think, is the name. still have one rendezvous to finish, so maybe gonna try to look up for that? I don't know, let's see how long it will take. I think this is the one that is actually the longest one, so it may take up more time than usual. Diary of Nanai. Written by the psychologist Nanai Valencia, he tells of a, name, a man named Tango, who is currently down on his luck. No matter how alike two people may look on the outside, even if they are parent and child, brother and sister, no, even if you were to take your own selves and make a clone of yourself from them, not even then, would they be the same? For all lives, similar though they be, are different. You yourself are walking down a path that no one else can tread. Every event on this road of life, no matter how trivial or important, is yours and yours alone, no matter how many centuries and millennia may pass. Nanai Valencia. Nanai is the name from Red Thirteen's father in Final Fantasy VII. The Chocobo Raceway. The only place in the country to permit gambling and it's packed with passionate racing fans. Just about every weekend, in fact. Chocobo owners in search of the huge payoffs for the most elite racing birds come in from all over. These races have been nationwide. But 30 years ago, the previous king decreed that the races be unified at one official gambling arena, the Chocobo Raceway. Considering how popular Chocobo Racing was, they expected and indeed generated huge profits. Racing only became more popular and the bets would grow to such proportions that on the day of a big race, amounts rivaling the budget of a small nation might exchange hands. Money-making heaven, this was, and people nicknamed the raceway the Golden Palace. Now, let's have a look at one middle-aged man by the name of Tango. Tango would prefer a Saturday of gambling over three meals a day, and on this particular Saturday, he is facing the biggest crisis of his life. Not 10 minutes after making a 500,000 gear withdrawal from the local bank, from the local bank, Tango reached into his back pocket only to find his wallet missing. He had carelessly dropped along his way home. Following this incident, his troubles became so frequent that one could hardly keep track of them. After being accosted by roughnecks on his way home, he arrived to find the part of his home that he was still making loan, spain, loan payments on, had been damaged in a fire. The slight relief felt at the slight damage quickly vanished when he was, when this very same fact caused the insurance company to deny his claim. Tango's paper making, a shop he just opened up, went bankrupt, after which his wife left the house. Things were beginning to look quite grim for Tango. God damn, tell me about it. After all that had happened, all Tango had was 5,000 yu in his pocket. Many times, after a losing streak, Tango had thought up about giving up gambling. But today, in the very throats of despair, he thought, it's all over. There is nothing left for me in this world. This day of inconsolable depression for our hero also happened to be 
a Chocobo racing day. In fact, it was the day of the annual great race. So Tango looked up to the sky, to the blue sky, and he decided, one more race before I give up. Depressed as he was, he couldn't stop so easily. When he arrived at the tracks, the first race had just finished, but he knew payouts were higher later in the day, so he didn't mind. He picked up a racing form that someone had tossed aside and headed into his usual bar. But today, he couldn't relax. Ever since he'd gotten up this morning, he'd been hearing a buzz in his ears that just wouldn't stop. He sat in his usual seat and ordered his usual drink. On his tab, of course. Drinking up and listening to people gossip. This bar was inside the racetrack grounds, so as you can imagine, people were usually talking about Chocobo racing. There were also lots of unrelated conversations, such as men and women flirting, mixing as well. Listening in everyone's banters was one of Tango's hobbies. However, with the ringing in his ears, Tango found it utterly impossible to concentrate. He tried cleaning out his ears and pulling on them, until finally he overheard some people talking about the upcoming race. They were discussing which chocobos were entering the next race. A lot of different names came up, and as it turns out, only one was never mentioned. Soul Cannon. Tango decided that he would pull for Soul Cannon, since no one seemed to be doing so. Soul Cannon, actually. No bet. Just honest support. And then the race began. It was a short one, just a thousand two hundred meters. So it ended fairly quick. The winner? Saul Cannon! There were several more races scheduled. Tango decided to continue rooting for whichever chocobo whose name he didn't hear mention. Luck? Coincidence? Or something else? Every time, that one turned out to be the winning chocobo. Tango reflected on this for a moment. Every chocobo he'd supported so far had finished in the winner's circle. That, our hero noticed, was somewhat usual. Perhaps this ringing in Tango's ears was helping him? Could God be giving him one last chance? The next race would end the morning session. Tango decided that if the pattern continued for this race, well, why not try it for the afternoon races? So he went around, listening to people talk, and as he heard names of chocobos, he crossed them off the list that was on the paper he picked up. There was only one bird left for the fourth her for fourth race, it was Hermaden. And as Tango predicted, Hermaden won. Now the morning session was over, and it was time for lunch. Tango could hardly stop himself from shaking. Quick, let's start racing again. Trying to stay calm, he went down to the Good Luck Tavern. He sat in his usual seat and his order his usual lunch, which, needless to say, went on his tap. While Tango waited for his order to arrive, who should walk through the door but... Lance, a man who, in our hero's words, might be described as a stuck-up, full-of-himself, fancy-panting, no-good nick, and filthy rich to boot. Then this Lance personage called out, I say, is that you, Tango? Uh-huh, I'm keeping it down a bit, replied our hero. So terribly sorry, I wanted to introduce this charming lady, whom I've ju only just met. And who came into the restaurant behind Lance? Why, it was Tango's wife. Lucilda, honey. What are you what are you doing with a ruffian like Lance? She had no reply. I point out, Lance answered, that it was you who upset her. Which is why she's here on a date with me. The, 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 the date with this this 
Now, now, Tango. No need to get angry. To see that staying here would only be unpleasant, let us dine at the cafe across the way instead. Tango was frustrated indeed, but there was nothing he could do. She certainly won't come back to me if I fight with the man, he thought. And as she was exiting, he bounded out, out the door and grabbed a hold of her. I win every race this afternoon. And then I'll give up gambling forever. Give me one more chance, my darling. As Lucilda walked away, there was nothing he could do to hope to bump into her after the next race. I'd sure like to get a fistful of money and wave into Lance's face. That rotten filth monkey. And then I'll get my wife back. You shouldn't care about your wife. Tango looked down at his program. Three races to go, he thought. I'll have to use that ringing in my ears if I want to win them all. Announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth race is about to start. Uh-oh, they're starting already. I gotta listen for as many names I can from as many people as I can and then hope that those chocobos don't win. And maybe then I will convince myself that this ringing thing actually works. There wasn't much time for Tango to waste, for the fifth race was only minutes from getting underway. Let's see. Some place where people are eating would be good. Lots of people talking, right? That's it. Back to the good luck tavern. Fifth competition, Southern Quest. Rest term minutes. Ready? A table marked two inns in front of you. Sitting Charlie, dancing girl. Hey, Tango, how is it going? Drinking on your tab again? Bartender is not going to let you to do it much longer if you don't pay it, you know? What? With Choco? I don't know. I don't gamble. Dancing is hard enough. So, oof. The rest of the bar stretches. Had to say both. To the north is the Aziz, to the west some plants, to the east is a table marked one. Let's talk to the weapons guy. Yo, Tango! Looking worn out as always. Hey, who am I betting on? Buy me a drink and I tell you. The special cocktail is 4,000. No thanks. <laughs> Talk to some more guy. Hey, thank you. Look at the press it, man. Watch a couple. Not this time. I'm looking forward to a race. To the great race later on. Greasy sweat Yeah, damn it. Can we put in the tab? No thanks. Uh -uh. No, no. Let's move. Head for the plants. Have a look at those plants. Whoa, that's pretty the one that works. Got a 50 point coin. Move. Don't go anywhere. Now move. Head for the table two. Move. Head to the table one. That's the table mark two. Box to the south is the counter. Willis is south sundries. He's here drinking. Talk to it. Man, do my shoulders hurt? Tango, why are you sneaking up on me like that? Stop scaring me, buddy. But you sure have come to the right time. Could you pound on my shoulders? They're so sore. Pound his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that felt great. I really appreciate it. Listen, put your money on Tropical. That's where my support is going. Let's move. Head for the jukebox. Check out the jukebox. It's pretty old. Some parts are broken. I don't think there is anything special. Move. Head for table one. Move. Head for the counter. Talk to master. Oh, wedge. You got them. Don't pay. Or you can play after the table. No, I'm fine. To edge. This is the bigger race. I'm so excited, sir. Makes me want to smack that to a jukebox box instead. I think it goes. Uh, well, I can't drink some water. Okay. Oh, it's time is over. <laughs> time for the race. He headed for the thickest booth. How 
much should I gamble? I got 5,000 gear. I always gamble a small and pile of big debts. That's they can't pay back, so gotta risk it all. Really, in those drinking years. <laughs> Tango reached the betting booth. All right, now let's do this. You, Tango, been a while. You're here to place a bet? It race. There are just three. Uh, I think I'm gonna bet on Angel Fish. Are you sure? Don't you have a lot of that? He couldn't answer. Tango just held on that ticket and had her for the grandstand. Let's see if we can. It's no use. I can't move. This leg pains too much. The moment of truth. Here I am. Too nervous to move. My legs are like bricks. I'm not gonna make it to the track to watch. Okay then. I just have to listen to the announcer on the radio. That's cool. It's time gated. It's like it's pretty challenging to unless you've replayed it a bunch of times. Looks like the race is over. What's that coming over? The PA system? Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth race number two, Yashinoki. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Did I not get enough information? Did I buy the wrong ticket? Or was that ringing in my ears just an illusion? Total funds, zero. And my debts hadn't gone anywhere. Farewell, Lucilda. I suppose I'll never see you again. Goodbye. Oh god, he's killed himself. See, what was that awful noise? Someone jumped on from the 20th floor window? How absolutely bothersome. It must have been another failed gambler. Lucilda, dear, is something wrong? No, I just felt a bit cold. You must then feel unpleasant. Say, try some of this apple tea. I shall order some pumpkin pie. Absolutely delectable. Oh man. So that's brutal. Game over. <laughs> oh boy. So it seems I will have to try it another time. Again. Your score is 60. <laughs> alright, alright. So it was shorter than I expected because I failed miserably. So we're gonna do that. Every new episode, I'm gonna try to play Book of Nanai once again. We're probably gonna skip the, the intro uh, as we seen and go straight to the, the gameplay so we can enjoy Book of Nanai. But it was cool, it was cool, it was very cool. So Let's back to grind some JP. <clears throat> what I have? I'm gonna grind some to unlock Samurai for her. This is what I need. Mm. Three and four. So night. Orlando got Samus Ninja already? No, he didn't even got Ninja. So, D4, right? And you're gonna be my channels.
to just go through this way because there is a special event that will trigger once we reach daughter so we need to avoid that before we find some stuff Or so now we need Geomancer Knight. Maybe not my three. Yes. Mm, well, here doesn't have. Mm. Well, we don't have to wait for elixir and remedy. Then I will unlock the grasp of both here as well. Exactly sure if we got or maybe the the new items, the final best upgrades available on store, but I think it's quite possible. I think we got my three. Let's buy a bit sword. That's a good one. Other new, oh, there are Zardas. Let's see how much 870. Okay, so I think I need at least another one. I think I can delay for remedy because Blade Rasp is more important actually. Very useful. 
So my four now need to unlock the Lancer. Just to be safe. Oh, yes. So now, do you have an answer? No, an answer. I won't care a lot about mocking Ninja with her by now first, but we'll eventually work into that because it's useful. Two swords for now. Mm, ten points. <laughs> okay. I need maintenance, actually. A couple of people. Do I have points for maintenance? No. No. Okay, so I'll need to bring everybody as chemists. That has a huge potential of failing. surprising okay so let's see yardo if there is anything oh nice okay we can buy maintenance with him oh we can buy maintenance with everybody i think let's oh no just orlando was one short mm. Should I keep him? Or should I try? I should get. I think I'm gonna get move plus two with 
you first. That would be useful. And usually, Samurai is chasing me. Because you're gonna be a very, very good Samurai. Or should I start looking into swords? Yeah, let's work on two swords first. After all, it's important to... To be OP with my whole team. go up on Nilvaska to finish the whole day. Really try it. Let's see if Rio Runners has something. Nice! A lot of propositions unlocked. mostly optimizing my characters for the post-game challenges so they are not as challenging as they could be because I'm not a challenge person actually really while I usually don't cheat don't cheat I am definitely about someone like really oh I want to fight the hardest thing and feel the joy of defeating something so difficult that no nah, 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 nah. I like to play and have fun I don't play for having my ass handed to me multiple times I'm not this kind of player just check yeah, very close very close I think you got yes you got oh now it's time for ninja. Just save here to not accidentally click on the thing.
two swords. So now let's unlock a couple of items. I don't think I have any elixirs available anyway. Maybe I should grab move plus two first before grabbing more skills from Samurai with her. Ooh, I can grab the new plus two with him. Nice. Grab a couple of potions with dark beer besides remedy. Exaggerate it a little bit. I'm gonna do a double run here, and it will be enough. It's always tricky to keep using fast forward while I'm clicking the places, because there is always a chance I'm clicking on the green button, and combat ensues. Samurai. Ninja. Mm, pretty close. I'm gonna see if Goland has anything, and once I finish Goland, I'm gonna follow through this second game. Okay. I need Murasame, I need Kiyomori, right? Yes. Still need to unlock a couple of item skills with Agrius. I think there are still a couple of propositions to unlock after we advance a little bit on the story. Terror and Sword King. Where is that? And two swords. I just need to grab a couple of items with Orlando. Mm. Let's grab Hype Potion first before grabbing Remedy. I think I'm actually gonna grab a couple of items. I'm gonna grab Explosion. Actually, you guys need maintenance too, right? 
Oh, she already got it. Let's go back to Master. Holy Knight. So I'm gonna... Let's just unlock High Potion with Fagrius and... She has both plus two. Or now more plus two is slightly better. Then to the porch. To the porch is good for when we need mobility. Oops. So, Agrius, Race, and Orlando. Boom sword is better than Sasuke Blade, right? Yes. I don't need Sasuke Blade. Your more is 500. Things down he already got. And I'm not explosion first, because as I said, I won't have any. I need actually to unlock a little potion with this people because for some battles out of potion is very useful. More useful than blade grasp. Which is weird as fuck, because blade grasp is pretty broken. Okay, so let's go back to Limbury. We're gonna Actually I need just I don't need to change the itemization too much, I think. So, well, flare item and martial arts for now. I need maintenance actually, right? Yes, because we're gonna do the. Hmm, we need to change Agrius to Holy Knight. to do 
some challenge. Best stuff. This one is the one that gives us the right. Alright, so who's gonna bring my Excalibur? Yeah, Berlin. just to keep matching. Holy Knight has such a terrible itemization. Too bad I only have one set yet, so... Defender and switching, but better itemization than Agrius. All right. Thinking that I put, nah, it's just too bad to put uh, sprint shoes and Agrius. All right. So first, let's see what we have to buy that is decent enough to be bought. I think I don't need anything from those. I'm gonna buy a couple of explosions and a blah. I'm gonna max my Phoenix down finally. Just 50 explosions is enough. I'm gonna sell all my weak potions. Should I sell high potions right now? Yeah, no one is using out of potion still, but I don't need potions really. So now we need a couple of this Urazame or Maramasa. I always get confused in both of those two. Murazame. Bunch of Murasames. Should I buy already a Kiyomoris? Yes, let's buy the Kiyomoris already. We're gonna need it anyway. Let's buy another Thief Hat. Eat five anyway, and that's it. So we are fully here. Let's see if there's anything in the short shop. Uh, maybe I should sell a couple of trinkets here. But first things first, we're gonna do the rendezvous. So you guys can see before we move forward to the story. Because this is why I was being so specific with building my character. So everybody has maintenance, everybody has their optimal itemizations, because this is the first that is a bit more challenging than usual. And this is a battle series, the Shrine Knights. We seek the strong and pious to do God's will as sworn, sworn members of the Shrine Knights. Put your skill against ours and prove yourself worthy of joining our ranks. Muron Church of Labados. Okay. 
Lorenza and my ladies, and Orlando and my fear. simple sparing match shall suffice. Show us what you can do. Defeat all enemies. First, Orlando. Lightning stab. <laughs> because Orlando is too broken for this game, man. Hmm, actually, I think I'm gonna try to get Waygraph to crow first, if possible. Because Wigraph is much more dangerous than this dude. Two sword hit. Oh, secret fist in applied death sentence on him. That is sucks. Gasame. Thank you all for lining up. Oh, I don't have Holy Explosion yet. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> this is why I hate Angry as as Holy Knight. She's just so goddamn slow and she has such terrible itemization. Life is short, Barry. Steezy sword. Could have put an Excalibur on Arius, but Orlando is just way, way, way stronger. Oh, <laughs> that was very nice, both here. I totally forgot to see if people had stuff just to you. Defender and I save the queen. Hey, not really. I'm just fire bracelet you. Boo. The doom of planet. I'm gonna move here so Igrias can raise Orlando. Actually, I'm gonna scream. So I want Orlando to die first before the following round. I just 
Let's put front run there. So we are full. Just raise your bravery so you guys have better dodges. Yeah, Igris is maxed, but Raze and Orlando are definitely not. I should hope you could extend that level of combat. Calm. Your second trial will be one of magic. Think you can hold up to it? I think Clathian has a dragon staff, maybe? Maybe. Mm, yeah, what is it, Rod? He only has dragon staff in the story event. to be safe. Night sword. Ooh, crit. Could have actually stolen that save the queen to give to Ramza, actually, right? <laughs> because it's using a cheap ass defender. Ooh, what she's gonna cast? Shiva. This is a multi phase. Multi phase is because there are some limitations, I think, on the sprites on the screen or something like that. You defeat some enemies and the other enemies are teleported to the combat, as you've seen. You've seen before that happening on the, the, the undead one, like the, the chicken race. Check out. Uh... Really good. 
for rush. Master of all souls, cut energy, night show. Sim resistant enough to magic. I wonder how you fare in the next trial. The next one will have a couple of decent stuff for us to steal. Now we'll see how you deal with ranged attacks. I hope you didn't bring swords to a gunfight. One of my favorite game bands, bands like game music of all time, is a band called The Megas, which they do songs based on the Mega Man franchise, like putting lyrics and making the characters have a couple of more. Ooh, a blaze. Oh no. Oh, Ligi. Really? You should be Ligi with the blaze gun? Well, I can at least wait until you guys turn to crystals. Yeah, I'm gonna take a couple of rounds trying to see if those guys become weapons that I will use. Ooh, glass gun. Glass gun is definitely a priority. And so, the mechanics. And they have songs about the Mega Man franchise. And uh, a couple of those songs are like putting more story in the characters. And one of the songs they made on their latest record, that is called History Repeating, is about uh, the Shadow Man, which he uses knives and he's like a ninja. So he's. On the lyrics of his song says, I am the knife in a gunfight. So it's that's another way to make a pun on the the classic don't bring a knife to a gunfight. I'm gonna kill the mediator first. But, ooh, dude took some damage, bro. Okay. So you have a glacier I want to place. So I'm gonna kill you first. or something done like that. Gonna cast Cure Radcliffe. She holds the bullet on her hands. Oh, Skage. Actually, we are getting a lot of. a lot of. Hectic people in this fight. We got Luigi, we got Advent, <laughs> we got Kage, 
Let's see if we got anyone else. Yeah, I think those only. Yeah, kill this chemist. Fire bracelet. Let's kill three people. Mm, I forgot that you don't have. Actually. Come here. Like this that. Ooh, 750 damage. gonna take a couple of rounds for people to turn into crystals anyway, so... Hmm. I think here we can on the Holy Sacrifice. Yeah, here. We can on the Holy Sacrifice then. Kill the dude that is low on HP and put the other near the death throats. Ooh, exactly. turn into chests so maybe we can get some additional copies of those magic guns really you really had to put your backs to the wall I know I could steal your cape first I don't want to. Ah, come on, man. Heavens wish to destroy all minds. Holy explosion. of precious life. Urasame! strategy to break those battle series but it's not very fun is to actually to buff your units with Ranza in their first round so like stats change stick between rounds so like as an example I can just yell until my unit is like 50 and speed and on the first battle round usually it's the easiest one and then proceed to murder the enemies really really struggling with 
any of the battle series for the post game content, this is a very common strategy to beat it. Some of those fights are not hmm, affected by that, let's say. Because they're not battle series. They're just very, very hard. I really wanted that blast gun because it's like the earliest we got for a chance of a blast gun. Let's see if I can arm. Oh, I can't arm soon. I can lag single. No, I can't. First thing in the front is this as well. No, you're an email. Okay. So let's swoop. We can steal from here, right? Yes, so let's wait. God damn it, Bob. You really need to move to the fucking corner of the map. I'm gonna keep my units closer to the ones that are close to turn, so we can start grabbing stuff when we need it. So Luigi turned into a chest. At least I think he can't run for factor. Let's see. Mm, health mat. Hmm. hit. somewhat very lucky because we didn't got a single sword to break. Maybe I should try to steal your fucking mantle at least once. Yes! Thank you, Balthier. This would be slightly easier now. Because he already had Abaddon with doubles the evasion and without it, without the cloak, it is pretty useless. Single gun has been obtained. Please let me steal at least a blast gun. Too. 
Ooh, glacier one. A spare at least. No blazes, but. And the screen once again. Because we still need to max Ramses Bravery anyway. Come on, Ring Jesus. Ooh, god damn it. Break something. Health price. Weapon. Uh, no. I want to steal the weapon. I don't want to break it. more tries until I max people's bravery because I need to do it anyway and I really really want to take this opportunity to steal an early blast gun which will be in use Since I will carry through the next fights, it'll be just way too OP. Give me your gun, man. Take your hands off your gun. You don't need that. So it is. Once I maxed Ray's Bravery and Orlando's Bravery, we're gonna move forward. If we didn't steal or not. fucking with me right now. Jeez. 
to. <laughs> well, we're not gonna be here for all the time. This is gonna be a final attempt. Now we're gonna kill him. Not even move Ramza to the murder range. Come on, heart of the cards. <laughs> I give all fear a single extra to attempt. Just to, to cry about it. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Come on. Okay, last one, last one. gonna have cry punch you just because I'm pissed. I really wanted that early blast gun. You show promise the next test will be the last. Prepare yourself. Against Vormov and Rufel. This is your final trial. Don't hold back. I think both have maintenance. Oh no. He is. Oh, they are. Mystery enemies. So it can be. Let's see. So useless. I've tried crushing blow. Since they can't break my shit, they're gonna try to smack my characters. <laughs> A miserable cure one. Just more on my stomach to heal all fear. Ooh, our first Murazami approach. Just to prove that they can break. How pride is damage? Let's see what they will break. Hmm. 
I love the fact that because we have Blade Grasping, we decide to do something that's guaranteed to hit at least, instead of wasting around anyway. had crashed. Bracelet. <laughs> it's terrible, man. We really need to get some draw decent skills for. I think he has a Ragnarok. I want to see what is the second sword he's using. I think he's a nice print. Steal anything from him. Ooh, helmet, armor, or an accessory. Let's see what it is an elf mantle. Great. I'm gonna try to steal the other stuff from him just to see what it is. Ugh. Yes. Blade Grasp. Max order 256 and Crushing Bolt 288. Crushing Blow is based on lowest faith. So if you lower Ramza's faith, it gets very, very strong. It's already strong enough, but it gets stronger. I'm gonna kill Burma first then. Master of all souls, cut energy. to see what it is. Never gonna know. He's gonna murder him. Drown in the heart torn world of nothingness. Crushing blow. Yeah, you're pretty bad. Shrine Knights. 
do I need to have that OP skills? No, but I don't want to lose a lot of time. We see all we need, and you do not disappoint. From this day forward, the Shrine Knights welcome to your ranks. Welcome you to your to our ranks. Some decent money. And as I mentioned, I would show you how the chapter 4 roulettes work right now. I think I mentioned it on the... So, we can pay Gil to upgrade a chest for a rare one. I have 216. So, yes. Ooh, lucky. Zardy shape. I'm gonna upgrade an armor. Failed. 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 Genji shield. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save my money. Ultimus bow. A rune blade. Crystal mail. And I think I'm gonna grab uh, a couple of elixirs. Nothing really great, and we spent a lot of money. So this is it. This is the Shrine Knights. Now back to our program. Do I? Yes, I have the press right. What I was doing, Lancer. Uh, is to unlock my right. I have summoner. No, I don't even have summoner. <laughs> Nor mediator, actually. Well, though, Lancer Ramza. Jots and JP. No. Put Titans later. Ligris is back to ninja duty, so she has better stats. because I want to get that. I think I'm gonna... I need to equip Melia though, because you'll see why. Four levels, so we need to go to Egros Castle. So let's go to Egros. What? What's that? It's a special event included from the War of the Lions version to the Lion War mod with new translation. Do you want a license? Yes, it is. So Egros, Bothier, and Orlando Final Race.
You know, that phrase would be very helpful. Anyway. So, the Marquis has fallen. And who might you be? My name is Clethian. I come in Lord Wormar's stead to see his will carried out. A shrine knight then? Where is Alma? My, my limbs will move. What trickery is this? Time magic of my own design, its power all but wasted on the likes of you. I thought I was overcautious in reading and readying a trap, but it seems that was not the case. You will find struggling is useless. You don't have the strength or will to break free. Make peace now. You're going to the gods. What? Sir Clethian, how long has it been since last we met? This is an unexpected sight. Tell me, when did you don the traitor's cloak? I wasn't aware I had. It is not draped around your own shoulders? It is Isnut and I who were used by you and all the others. What of it, if you were? Those sins will be atoned for. There will be no mercy, not even for you. Defeat Clethian. I think you're gonna aim for a dark hole. Do you know the stone secrets? What father meant to do with them? He has a grand and lofty goal. I will say no more. Such things exceed your feeble capacity for understanding. You know the truth, and you still aid him? But, but why? <laughs> I have my reasons, and you don't need to know. Steal 
this was not expected, but surely the time I bought will suffice. Platian, wait! Is it true? Is my father a uh, Lukavi? You have eyes, don't you? Go and see for yourself. Goodbye, Dragonrod. Could he truly be? So here we are. Let's remove stuff from the video back again. And There is any props here? No. I'm gonna go to Maryland. No props. I'm gonna check the other ones before going to the castle because I really want to kill Mori with race. Yes, there is. And Alk. King Alk. More Jiris. Um, event is not yet. Nothing. So. We're back to business, boys. No? No. Okay. Nothing yet for Remedy. Back to the Holy Swordsman. And then two swords. And that's What for do I think tech help is better? Oh, I don't have tech help. Yeah, fine.
save the queen because Egress is not using it anyway. So we're gonna save here and save the next story for the next episode. So next episode we're gonna do I think I'm gonna not play replay Nanai in next episode so we can finish the bulk of the story and start to play through the deep dungeon. Okay, so once again, thanks for watching my episodes. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know that the Nanais didn't play as well as it could, but as I said, besides the, the next episode, we're gonna be keep playing until we see more of the story of the Book of Nanai. Um, thank you once again. Have a nice day, night, or evening, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this, at which time zone you are located to, and stay safe, stay warm, and see you guys in the next episode. Ciao!